Hello everybody. Um welcome to my like a soul food. Yet another video, yet another typical African food and that is uh we call it matumbo of Swahili and um tripes actually cow stomach. I'm going to show you how we're going to prepare it today. I'm going to boil it first and then I'm going to fry it and i'm going to accompany it with dry vegetables that i always have packed this way and get them on my like a soul food if you like and i'm going to also make the vegetables on the side so that we can have a full meal today and so to start with i'm going to boil my um my trippers my cow stomach i'm going to boil it and i'm not going to cut it in small pieces first it's always easier to boil it uh, in big chunks and then cut it later when it's already boiled. So I'm going to start with that. I'm going to boil that. I'm going to cook my tomatoes like always. I don't put them directly in the food when they're like this. And then while boiling, I'm going to put some onions in the, um, in the water and salt. And I'm going to use this lower blender. Put them in the in the meat uh, to reduce the amount of uh, smell because the cow stomach always has a very very strong smell so like i said we're going to start off with uh, boiling the uh, cow stomach and uh, i have put my ginger and garlic cube i used the big one this time i have my lower blood i have to check out the name in english and I have uh, my coriander. I used the stock part of it, uh, the leafy part. I'll use it in the end when frying it. And onions. And then I put my salt, vegetables. With a uh, vegetable, it's like my first to boil it so that the cow stomach will have a good taste and it will be um, salty also. So I'm going to let that boil, and then later I'm going to get it out, cut it in pieces, and then fry it. Then let's now go to the vegetables. So for my dry for my dry vegetables, I'm going to put hot water, not so much. You can see like they're shrinking, but in the end they're going like to double the size. So I'll put the water. And then I'm going to cover it up and let them soften up a little bit so that one is going to stay like that and for my water to prepare the tomato sauce with the time that I'm going to be waiting for the cow stomach to be ready so I'll have the tomato so uh, the tomato three tins I have three tins of them put them there I'm going to put some black pepper in it some oil just a little bit about two tablespoons and I'm going to use um, four bulbs of onions I'm going to cut them small and uh, put them cover it up and let it cook for some time until the water level reduces so and for those who've not subscribed please do so that you get to enjoy our videos every time we upload and please subscribe and click on the button on the bell to always get new videos really appreciate that for those who subscribe thank you very much thank you for joining our youtube family and for now the the cow stomach is ready it has already boiled for about one and a half hours I'm going to put it in a sieve and I'm going to um, to let it cool down first I'm going to remove the two leaves and they're to be thrown away second one is here And for this sauce, I'm going to continue cooking it, but I will put my vegetables inside 
so that they can be they can continue being soft before I put them in the food when frying them. So there I have my vegetables. I have put them in hot water. So because I'm basically cooking the sauce together, I'm going to put the vegetables in the soup that I got from the meat, the stock. I'm going to put it there. And I'm going to let it boil. The meat, I'm going to let it cool down and then cut it in smaller pieces ready to be fried. And here my tomato is still cooking. The water really has to reduce um, a lot. So I'll let that cook fast. And then I'll let my meat cool down, cut it in pieces. And then here I'll continue letting my vegetables cook. I'll, uh, I'll close it and let it cook in the soup. So like I said, um, it's much easier to, to cut the meat when you've already boiled it. I uh, think it also has less mess and uh, I let it cool down so that's what I'm doing right now finish cutting it up my tomato is already drying up too very nicely the water has reduced so when I finish cutting the meat I'm going to uh, start frying it So my tomato is dry, I'm going to remove it, put it in a container on the side. I know the onions are a lot, you, um, there's always a choice, some food I blend the onions, but this kind of meal I just, it's okay for me when they're like that, but you can also blend your onions, onions if you like, so that they don't appear in the tomato sauce. So I'm going to remove all of the tomato and then I'm going to put my meat in the pan. I'm going to put my maggi. And my tomato paste. And a little oil. I need a little oil. Ginger and garlic are already put in the initial stage and boiling. And um, I'm going to add one finely chopped onion and frying it in the oil first.
little oil. And then I'm going to cover it and let it fry a little bit fast. So I'm adding my tomato mixture slowly by slowly to see how much it fits. It's not a problem if it remains extra. Depends on to how much you want your sauce to look like, if it's watery, if it's too much. Okay, someone can just decide. So I'm going to let that cook and I'll keep adding the tomato mixture slowly. I've managed to strain my vegetables here. I've managed to strain my vegetables from the water that I was cooking in. So I have the water here and the vegetables. So I'll not pour the water first because that's what I also cooked the cow stomach in. I just want to see how much sauce I can manage at the end. The rest then I can throw away. So as usual, um, we're coming to the end of this video today. And as you can see there, we have our cow stomach, our matumbo. Uh, shaki for those who know it that way three pairs and we have our strained vegetables that was uh, cooked in the soup for the cow stomach and as usual I'm going to show you different ways of how you can serve the food um, today I only have two options and I just cooked some ugali to accompany my matumbo and uh, yeah let's do the serving or the different ways of how you can eat and we're going to do it right now so there we are um, I served it two ways uh, for one plate I mixed the vegetables with the meat with the cow stomach and for one plate I put the vegetables on the side for those who don't like it mixed and I had some chili blended on the side. I always have chili on the side, like I say, because of the children. So, once again, we've come to yet another, to the end of yet another video. Thank you for watching. For those who've not subscribed, please do. For those who've subscribed, thank you very much. Thank you for joining our family, Malaika Soul Food. And uh, on behalf of Malaika Soul Food, that was it for today. Uh, hope to see us in the next video and uh, kama kawaida.